Tony Hoags, your host of Men on Higher Learning, uh, in association with the Higher Learning Network. I'm here today, uh, this is 2014 African Fest, right here in the Chi-Town. Hey, we filming live. We gonna have the Manhattans, we got an exclusive interview with those guys, so I want y'all to stay tuned to the show. As well as men on higher learning, we always got a feast of fun and activities for you at home to look at. So hey, stay tuned. Hey, stay on purpose, stay in power. See you in a minute. I'm Tony Hoes, your host of Men on Higher Learning, a subsidiary of the Higher Learning Network. I'm here today at the 2014, yeah, 2014 African Fest, right here in the Shot Town. Hey, and I have the privilege to have one of the oldie but goody groups from back in the day. And all y'all brothers who know what I'm talking about will feel me. I'm here with the Manhattans. Oh, hey, 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 yes, right. you're now, how you guys been doing? Fine, man. Fine, man. Fine, man. Doing just fine. All right. Uh, how long have you guys been uh, in, in in existence? Because I know I know y'all from back in the day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have been together now just 20, 24 years. Yeah, 24 years. Oh, that's great, man. So many groups that didn't make it, and y'all still here right, doing it. And I love some of y'all old cuts. Uh, the Shining Star. That was my number one back in the day. Yeah. Uh, All right. And uh, who is Winfred? Winfred, yeah. Brother Winfred. Winfrey love me, Winfrey. Winfrey. Oh, Blue, um, Blue isn't with us. This, oh. is, this is Sonny, this is Sonny Bivens' own group. This is Sonny Bivens' Manhattan's. Oh, okay. You know, it is two different Manhattans, um, Blue Lovin' and Joe Austin, their group, and um, Sonny Bivens. Sonny, the original founding member of the, of the Manhattans. He founded the group back in 1962. And he continued after Blue and Kenny retired and they left, and Gerald went solo in 88. You know, and we came in 89, 90. That's when we came into the group. All right. Sonny just continued everything on. Stuff. Oh, that sounds good, man. I love the song, uh, Shiny Star. And uh, you guys, I don't know, and I see, that was a shock for me to find out about the two different groups. Yeah, yeah. But now, I know you got the group, the Manhattan, song for the inauguration, uh, Jimmy Carter. Uh, what was that experience like? Well, we were there, and you see, listen, you know, the group was in existence since 1963. And s since that time, many of the guys have passed on. You know what I'm saying? And so we came in in the picture in 89, 1990. So that's been a lot of years in right in there, you know? But when we came in, Sonny Bivens, the original Manhattan, the one that kept it going, he handpicked everybody. We had to audition for this guy to make sure we carried on the true tradition and the style of the Manhattans. So the music would be the same and we would portray the image of the Manhattans as closely as possible. And so this is what has been carried on. The Manhattans are still going on as the Manhattans. You have different factions, might be uh, so-and-so and the Manhattans or the Manhattans Review, but they aren't the Manhattans. These are the Manhattans. You understand? Sonny Bivens is the one with the name, the trademark, the founder. And so we've been here since 89, that's 90 rather. That's 24 years. So that's a long time. Oh, yes, it is. Wow. Man, well, I hope you guys keep staying on together since y'all the newer version of it. And uh, is anything uh, new that y'all got coming out? Any new albums? We have a brand new CD that's coming out. We'll be out around September. You will enjoy it. That sounds like a plan to me. Right. Um, okay, Regina Bell, I know she has sung with uh, Gerald <laughs> back right, in the right. day. So I guess she was up and coming back around that era. Well, fortunately, during that time, I was playing trumpet with the Manhattans. And I remember when Regina Bell came in, Sonny and Lou and them had her to come in to audition. And she was great back then. You know, so I was there when she started with the Manhattans. You know, she's a great singer. Fantastic. And that was her really introduction into the music right. field. That was it. Professionally with the Mad Atoms, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's great, man. And I know y'all saw, we heard about Bobby Womack. We sorry to hear about him. Yeah, yeah, definitely, but, man. You know, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Legend, man. 
We lost a legend that had shown the, the world that uh, uh, you can go on, keep moving because of uh, Sam Cooke left out and whatever the case is, and he was playing with Sam Cooke. So Sam has set him up and so forth with him and his brothers. So from there, he branched on out, telling songs, talking about New York City, 110th Street, all those things, your know, daylight and all that stuff, man, that he did, it was great, you know, so we, we lost a genius. I know, man, so yeah. sad. And uh, now y'all, you guys, all y'all are still from New Jersey? New York. New York. New York. New York. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, wow, it's truly been a pleasure. Yeah. And, and, and thanks for taking me to school let me know about the group. Yeah. Okay. We love y'all and we want y'all brothers to keep on doing what y'all doing. And hey, blessings to y'all. Now, if you aren't out here presently, you need to come out and see the real Manhattan's and see a fantastic show. We'll show you what the Manhattan's are about, okay? That sounds good. Hey, I hope you at home enjoyed this here. Hey, and I want you to stay on purpose and stay in power. And stay tuned to your next Men on Higher Learning and the Higher Learning Network. I'm Al Bazaar. I'm Lee Williams. I'm Charles Hardy. And I'm Harsha Hemphill. And you're watching Men on Higher Learning. Ladies and gentlemen, come on, let's hear it.
Sam Cooke. A song to touch your heart. A song to turn you around and put your feet on solid ground. Now here's a song that I know that you know that goes something just like this. Darling, you just send me. I know that you, 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 you send me. Darling, now you, 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 you send me.
you very much.
to build. And this time I have the distinct honor and the distinct pleasure of introducing the man in the studio. To start with my introductions tonight, I'm going to start with the second pillar of the man in the This is a young man that hails from Mount Vernon, New York. First of all, I'd like to say it's a pleasure being here at the African Festival, Caribbean Festival of Light. Thank you so much for having us here, and it's a pleasure to be here. Now, to start with this introduction, this young man started singing in church when he was just a little boy. The ladies now call him Charlie Charlie. Let's hear it for Charles Hardy, ladies and gentlemen. Charles Hardy. Thank you very much. Charles Hardy, ladies and gentlemen. This next young man, coincidentally, started singing in church. Same time, Charles Hardy did. And then some of the great gospel groups throughout the years. Actually, we are very fortunate to have these two young men with us here contributed so much to the group. The ladies have given him a new name. Whenever he signs an autograph, he signs it as the Candy Man. He is the Candy Man. Now, I want you to make him feel good, and he's going to work very hard for you. So, let's give a big hand, ladies and gentlemen, to this very talented young man. Let's have a hand for the one up on the big stuff. Austin, help you. I'll take you. Thank you. Thank you. This next young man is the lead vocalist for the group. He's a multifaceted musician, I'm saying. He's a guitarist, a keyboardist, and an excellent vocalist. Whenever he sings and pitches the church, Actually, in our high office here on the stage, we call him the deacon. You know, and we've been thinking of upgrading. You know, let's call him the red. You want to pick him up? Okay, we're going to call him the red. But you know, before you meet this guy of fiction, I want you to hear just a little snippet of some of the things that he, we can hear that voice a little bit more. Thank you, 
very much, ladies and gentlemen. This is the man that today is first gold record a song entitled There's No Me Without You. Now I know all of you this year, all in the back on the side, you came out tonight to truly enjoy yourselves. But see, what you see in Manhattan, sure, we never want you to leave and say, you know, I saw a Manhattan for you. We had a nice time. We want you to say, you know, I saw a Manhattan and I had a great time. Now, in order for us to truly convey that, there's such a thing that's known as spirit in the music. And I want all of you that can hear my voice all around. I want you just to keep time with the music. Keep time while the fellows are doing it. Just keep the time with the music and let it reverberate. Let, let the sound. Come on, let's have some fun here tonight. Let's get into it here. All this out of better. Let's do this thing here. When we get to the part of this song that says, that's how I know. There's no me without you. We want you to join in this system. Here we go. Baby, you are my life. Without you, I'm an empty shell. There's no house without a home. There's no man who wants to be alone. There's no child. Without a dream And there's no song Without a name And that's how I know oh, oh, oh. There's no me Without you Without a plan Every good woman wants a good man 